Hello, time for another episode, and now I start to be uh, really frustrated here. It's the third attempt, it has been uh, shut down twice, when I nearly have made it to the end. Let's try again. First up, microwave, and the title is Cooking from the Inside Out. It was released 1987. It's a pretty cool cover, for sure. Absolutely. I'm not sure, but I think it's only two persons behind this name. And the album is filled up with drum machines and synthesizers. And uh, if you like that kind of style, you're gonna like this album. I have only listened to this once, and it's not fair to say it's not good i can't say that it's just not my taste but who knows after five six times you have played it maybe you start to feel some songs are yeah good but you should check it out by yourself and build your opinion and let me know what you think about this album we go to next one and that one i can say I love this album. Poltergeist and the album Depression, released 1989. This band is from Switzerland. This is the first release as the band Poltergeist, but in fact, they already released uh, an album 1986, Is He Will There, under the name Carry On. And um, it's possible to find that, but you must pay around $150 for it. This one is not expensive as that. Cool little fellow here at the back. It reminds me about the German band Tankard, this uh, little monster. And uh, an impressive thing is the drum work here 1989 and the double bass work it feels like he's before his time it's really great 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 drumming on this album really impressive and it's an insert to the album here we can see what they look like the hard ones <laughs> but uh, fantastic album and i can hear it over and over again it's always really great to hear it last up for today and premiere for the series bon jovi we all know this band this one was released 1988 it has been sold uh, 18 million million copies over the world that's respect it's the only rock album that had five singles at the Billboard Hot 100 list. It's no, no, no other album have uh, made that, but this one has. The title New Jersey is because that's their home area. And uh, Joan had said uh, after this, he, he regrets that name. Uh, because it has uh, has been um, about uh, yeah media has think uh, about Bon Jovi and Bruce Springsteen their relation and and um, um, it has uh, been written about the re relation to Bruce Springsteen and uh, that's why uh, John regret that had he knows that he had never, we should never have named the album New Jersey. And uh, in fact, I have met these guys. They was warm up for KISS 1983 Lick It Up tour in Scandinavian Gothenburg. And um, just before KISS should start playing, these uh, guys walking around in the rink and talk to people and so on. So yeah, I have another story with the keyboard player there but we take that another time so uh, it not be too
too long episode. But uh, this is a great album, for sure. The most of the songs is written by John and Richie, and even another familiar name is involved in the songs, Desmond Child. Uh, working a lot with Kiss too. So yes, but uh, probably you people that love music, hard rock, you have heard this one. But uh, it's really worth to play it over and over again. It's, it's a fantastic album. Okay, that was what I had for you today. I wish you a great upcoming week and see you.